Such kind of gatherings are important because it's an opportunity to exchange views, to share experiences, and also to understand what's going on around the world. Because we live in the Middle East, we know the problems of the Middle East, but also we have to realize that there are problems in other parts of the world, and these problems affect each other, or solutions affect each other. That's why we believe participation in such kind of fora is important, to share information, to exchange views, and also to work together on building more opportunities for solutions and also for dialogue. Because since we live in an interconnected world, we have to be aware what's going on, and also we have to find partners who believe in the same cause, who are ready to help for solving the problems. So the situation is such that we have a new Iraq. In this new Iraq, Kurdistan region has a legitimate uh, status. Kurdistan region is a legitimate constitutional entity within Iraq. It's recognized. We represent this region. We have own, our own president, parliament, and government. So therefore, we have proven to the whole world that Kurdistan region is a functioning region, it has a functioning government, it's safe, secure and stable. Yes, we are in the front line fighting ISIS, but thanks to the bravery of our Peshmerga, we have hold the, uh, the lines and we have defended the region. It's safe and secure. The fact that we have nearly two million refugees from Syria and internally displaced people from the rest of Iraq, we have kept the door open in welcoming these refugees and IDPs. So when we talk about the fight against ISIS, when we talk about migration, refugees and displaced people, Kurdistan region is the home for that. So today there is this conference in Paris about Mosul and the future of Mosul and post-ISIS Mosul. Mosul is very close to Erbil and Duhok, to Kurdistan region. Our Peshmergas are participating in this military op offensive to liberate Mosul. So it's not logical, it's not reasonable for KRG not to be represented in this conference. We know the organizers, the French government, very much wanted the Iraqi delegation to include KRG representation. But the problem is that the Iraqi foreign ministry does not understand what does inclusiveness mean? Because Kurdistan region has got its legitimate entity, it has a status, because the Peshmerga forces come under the command and control of the president of Kurdistan region, who is the commander in chief of the Peshmerga forces. Kurdistan regional government acts based on instructions that come from the prime minister of the Kurdistan region. Therefore, this legitimacy that we have, it, it should enable us to participate in such kind of conferences so that we have a say in issues related to Mosul, the future of Mosul, and how to address their problems. Well, the good thing is that it has Middle East and Africa as well. So the Middle East and North Africa region, which always referred to as MENA region, it's important that we all not only hear about our problems, but our problems, other problems in Middle East and North Africa, but also the perspective from European and others. So that's why it is a kind of a forum that provides opportunities for diverse issues to be discussed and also to see what can we do together and what can we learn from each other. Uh, the thing about this forum is that it's diverse, many countries represented, they bring their problems. Uh, issues that some of them may be bilateral, others multilateral, but also for us it's a new opportunity to meet and encounter with other people who have similar problems or who have problems that are or may be exactly as ours. When we talk about democracy, building democracies, this is a shared goal for all of us, so we can learn from each other. When we talk about security and fighting terrorism, this is also another shared responsibility, migration, uh, human trafficking. These are issues that would be discussed by different participants from different parts of the world, but at the end, it's the same goal. And the expectation is this, that we want the international community first to be aware of, second to recognize them, third to work together to solve them. For me, this is the second time that I attend. Uh, I benefit from the rich experience of people from other parts of the world or other parts from the Middle East when they talk about their problems. So it means that it's not us who have problems, there are others who have problems. Therefore, this is a good opportunity for us to be here.